let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, Enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, May I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, 
And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Spring. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take us an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters. The prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord, indeed, we call blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of the perseverance of the Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but your Yes, mean yes, and you know, mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord. He slow to anger and binding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens I hear about the earth, so surpassing his kindness toward those who fear him, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgression from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds gathered around him, and, and as has his custom, he again taught them. The Pharisees approached him and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery to, against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Karaniwan po nagtatanong tayo to gain knowledge. May mga bagay-bagay o di kaya marami pang mga bagay ang hindi naaabot ng ating mga isipan at normal lang na kapag hindi natin alam ang bagay na ito o di kaya kung ano ang gagawin natin ay nagtatanong tayo sa mga experts sa kung sino ang mas nakakaalam. Pero kung minsan ang mga tao nagtatanong hindi dahil hindi nila alam. Kung minsan nagtatanong sila para itest lang yung tao na pinagtatanungan nila kung ano ba yung sinasabi niya, eksperto ba siya sa kanyang field o di kaya hindi eksperto. At kapag hindi niya nasagot ay nakikritisize yung tao niyan na nagmamagaling na kunwari alam niya lahat pero hindi naman niya alam. No? Karaniwan, nagtatanong tayo, hindi natin alam at may mga ibang tao na nagtatanong lamang to test kung may alam at kung alam na alam ba ang topic ng taong pinagtatanungan nila. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, parang ganito din ang pangyayari sa ating Ebanghelyo. Ang mga pariseyo, sila yung mga experts ng law. Sila yung mga nag-aral sa mga laws na ibinigay ng kanilang amang si Moses na, na siyang tinitin, tinitingalan nila na profeta na ibinigay ng Diyos ang commandment niya kay Moses. At ang mga laws ni Moses ang kanilang sinusunod, pinapag-aralan at ine-implement sa mga tao. And lo and behold, here comes Jesus na nagtuturo sa mga sinagoga 
And one day, na-tempohan siya ng mga Pharisees at tinanong siya, Is it lawful to for a man to divorce his wife? Pero alam ng ating Panginoon na tinetesting lang siya ng mga pariseyo. At dagli-dagli siyang sumagot, Ano ba ang sabi ni Moses? At ang sabi ng mga pariseyo, ay pwedeng i-divorce ang asawa. Pero sabi ng ating Panginoong Yesus, because of your stubbornness of heart, dahil sa matigas ang inyong puso, kaya ginawa ni Moses ang luna yan. Noong kapanahunan ng ating Panginoong Yesupriso, may dalawang school of thought, no? dalawang school na kung saan ay yung isa very liberal at yung isa ay conservative. Yung conservative na school ay sinasabi kapag sinabing pwedeng i-divorce ang, is, ang, 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 ang asawa kung nakagawa siya ng indecent, something indecent. At walang something indecent na alam nila kundi adultery, pakikiapid, pakikikabi. Pwede mong i-divorce kung yan ay nakikabit, humanap ng iba sa maikling sabi lagi nating sinasabi, Kula sisi, iti Lucano. O di kaya lagi natin sinasabi, sumakabilang bahay. No? Pwede mo siyang i-divorce. Doon naman sa liberal, ang sinasabing indecent ay ganito. Napaka, napaka literal. Kung ang iyong isawa ay sinira niya yung isang pagkain, pwede mo na siyang i-divorce. Kung siya ay, kung ano-ano ang ginagawa sa kalsada, nakikichismis, kung ano-ano, pwede mo na siyang i-divorce. Kung meron siyang nagawang kamalian, pwede mo siyang i-divorce. Kung ikaw ay nakita mo na nagdi-disrespect siya sa ibang tao o di kaya dinisrespect ka niya, ay pwede mo siyang i-divorce. Ganyan kaliteral ang school na yan na kahit katiting lamang na pagkakamali ng isang babae ay pwede mo na siyang i-divorce. We remember noong kapanahunan nila ay second class citizen lamang ang mga kababahayan at ang kanilang asawa at their disposal lamang. And Moses ay ginawa niya ang law na ito because of their hardness of heart. But then what Jesus said, ito yung bago niyang turo, na kung ano man ang pinag-join ng Diyos ay hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ni Numan. At kanyang inexplain na, na simula noong unang-una, ang ating Panginoon ay ginawa niyang mga tao, lalaki at babae, na para ba niyang ipinagpahiwatig na sila Bagamat dalawang katawan ay mapapag-isa sa bisa ng kasal. The sacrament of marriage is sacred. Ito yung andito kayo sa harap ng altar at manunumpa pang habang buhay. For better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. In the last part of the gospel, ay itinuro din ng ating Panginoon na kapag ang isang lalaki dinivorce niya ang kanyang asawa at nag-asawa ng iba, he committed adultery doon sa kanyang asawa sapagkat gaya nga ng sinabi natin kung ano man, ano anya man ti pinagtipon iti ako Diyos, awan ko ma iti tao nga magsina. Kung ano man ang pinag-join ng ating Panginoon ay wala dapat magpaghihiwalay. In this mass, therefore, my dear friends, as we pray for our personal intentions, ipagdasal natin ang mga kapatid nating may asawa na hindi na maganda ang kanilang pagsasama o di kaya nagkakaroon sila ng pag-aaway. Ipagdasal natin na nawa maliwanagan ang kanilang mga puso at isipan at nang sa gayon ang pagmamahal at bendisyon pa rin ng, ng ating Panginoong Hep Heso Kristo, ang siyang bababa hindi lamang sa kanila, kundi pati na rin sa kanilang pamilya na siyang bubuo pa rin sa kanila sa kanyang pagmamahal. Please all stand. Husbands and wives share in God's creation of new life. Our intercessions today center around the needs of parents and children. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become true to her vocation 
of defending the integrity of marriage and of the family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders and legislators may enact laws and policies that build families rather than destroy them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families broken by divorce or separation may find support and understanding from people in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the examples of Mary and Joseph may give inspiration to families in living out their commitments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace of God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, you created us male and female to continue your work of creation. May our love for one another reflect your indwelling presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer in the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Yeah. 
Let's all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of, of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer, prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you. And your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in by me and all your creatures forever. Grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you. Through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you entrusted me to her as her child, and their prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. We now pray the novena in honor of Our Lady of Visitation of Pia. O Mary, Mother of Mercy, Virgin of the Visitation of Pia, you are blessed among all women and the most compassionate of mothers. You take pity upon all those who call upon you. Every day your children invoke your name and sing your praises of love, mercy, and humility. For when the angel announced to you your divine motherhood and the happy lot of your cousin Elizabeth, who wants to be the mother of the precursor of your divine son, you did hasten to pay her a visit of love and respect praising God's mercy towards her. You, in your charity and humility, did not think of the distance and difficulties of the journey over the hill country to the house of your cousin. You did think only of accomplishing the will of God and bringing joy to Elizabeth. At your arrival, the infant leaped with joy in the womb of his mother, signifying the greatness and the fortune of those whom you deigned to visit with your mother love and mercy do also O great mother visit our homes so that we may be delivered from all dangers of body and soul bring peace to our families preserve us in health and concord deliver us from all temptation 
that may lead us away from the path of virtue. Take special care of us, particularly at these perilous times in which we live. Strengthen us in our of trials, comfort us in sorrow, succor us in all our necessities. O sweet mother, since you know how much we stand in need of your motherly care, assist us at every moment of our lives, but especially at the moment of our death. At the instant, do come with Jesus to lead us from this life to the enjoyment of eternal bliss in heaven. Amen. Prayer for the third day. O Queen of heaven and earth, mirror of true charity, when we consider the love in which you did undertake the journey from Nazareth to the abode of your cousin Elizabeth, we cannot but feel ashamed at the lack of charity we have towards our neighbor. In that visit of yours, you did forget yourself. You did disregard the dangers of the way, the fatigue and the difficulties you had to meet. O Heavenly Mother of Love, would that, be, would that we had a little of your selflessness, your humility, your generosity, your burning charity for God and your neighbor. But we are so selfish, so conscious of our dignity, real or imaginary. We are so cold in love towards God, and therefore so lacking in charity towards our neighbor. Would that we had a little spark of that love that ever burns in your immaculate heart. Would that we could serve our divine master and our fellow men as unselfishly and as humbly as you did. Do, O Mother of fair love, take away from our poor healths all the, all the draws of inordinate affection, so that we may love God with a pure and undivided heart. Purge from our sinful hearts every affection to sin, and fill them with a burning love for Christ and our neighbor. Purify our intentions so that we may think, speak, and act only in the in and for the love of God and good of, of our fellow men. Take from us the desire to think or speak ill of others and instill into our hearts the grace to forgive and forget whatever injury we have received from others. Finally, do ever preserve us in the grace of God, so that we may grow daily in the love of Christ and the increase in charity towards our neighbor. For when, for then we shall have the assurance to come one day and sing forever your glory in heaven in company with all the angels and saints. Amen. Through the intercession of the Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, we pray for our personal intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Pian, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Pian, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, you are the asylum of the poor and the hope of sinners among whom we, could, we count ourselves the most abject. For this reason, we come to you and implore you to look upon us with eyes of pity so that we may obtain forgiveness of our sins from your divine Son whom we have grievously offended so oftentimes in our lives. May the humble prayer we send up to you, to your throne today, in union with all the faithful on earth who invoke your name, 
serve for the increase of God's glory and your praise, for the exaltation of Holy Mother, the Church, the deliverance of the poor souls in the purgatory, and for our own salvation. O compassionate of mothers, we offer you our humble works in union with those of the sacred heart of Jesus. Mother of mercy, by the pain that pierced your immaculate heart as you did stand at the foot of the cross, do we strengthen the souls now in their last agony so that they may depart from this life peacefully and with your blessing. We also implore you for the grace to die a happy death. Deign, O Mother, to shower upon us all the blessing which now we need for our body and soul. Enlighten our minds, fortify our wills, so that we may live in according, so may we live according to the will of our Creator, and that we may have the confidence of meeting Him happily in the next life. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. kneel for the prayer before we crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, to the contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me. And calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They the dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for our body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>